Hey folks, today I got a special guest, Dave Coffin. He's a first time contributor to this channel, but he's a long time native script expert. And he's also an iOS guru. So of course he's gonna have an iOS tip for us to continue with our streak of iOS related native nitty gritties. And he's got a really nice one for us today. He's gonna show us how to get that black translucent tab bar at the bottom of the screen. We're gonna have to tap into a little bit of native iOS code and here's Dave. Hey everyone, my name is Dave and today I'm gonna to show you how to get that nice black, dark, translucent effect in an iOS app under your tab view. You can see this in the iOS trailers app as you scroll through and all those movie covers are scrolling under the tab view. It looks beautiful and nice and black translucent and you can't get that out of the box with native script. So here we go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is create our application using the native script CLI. So we just run TNS create and then give our app a name. We'll call it dark bar. I'm gonna use angular because I love angular and we'll use the tabs template. Now this will create an app for us that already has a tab view set up with a couple of routes pre-configured. All right, we've navigated into our dark bar folder and let's go ahead and open it in VS code. And then let's run it in iOS. So let's take a look at how this is set up uh, out of the box in this template. So we've got an app component that includes our tab view. And then it's got some page router outlets that you can use. Um, and it has a home component, which um, just has a simple list view in it. And then it's got an item detail. Uh, but we're just gonna focus on this home component right here and the app component. Um, in the home component, uh, it's got this list view. It's just a simple list that lists, I think, uh, oh, just items. So you can see here, here's our basic application. Um, you can route to these, uh, but we're not gonna focus on that right now. Uh, we're just gonna focus on this tab bar. Now, it's actually translucent under here, but you can't tell because this app is so boring. Um, so I have a little snippet I'm gonna replace this list view with. And let's see if I can pull that up. There you are. Now this is just a scroll view that uh, contains a bunch of pictures of sunsets because I love sunsets. Here we go. Now check it out. You can sort of see under this um, tab view that that uh, it's nice and translucent under there. You can see the images scrolling under there in a nice sort of blurry effect. And I love that, but um, I especially love the dark view. Um, and that doesn't really come out of the box in native script. The way that you handle this right now in native script is you would open up uh, a CSS file and set the tab background color to black uh, in the tab view. And what that does is it basically adds a color to this tab view, um, which is fine. You know, it looks nice, but it's not as translucent as uh, it, they look in, for example, the trailers app on iOS. Um, you can see it under there, but it doesn't look as nice and clean and uh, translucent as uh, some really nice iOS apps. So let's back this out. So what we're gonna do instead is access the native iOS component. So we're gonna grab the tab view component by adding a loaded method onto the tab view itself. We'll call it tab view loaded and pass in the event. Oops. And then in our TypeScript file, we'll just add this right in. So now I have actually pre-installed some um, TypeScript declarations for the native libraries for iOS and Android. That's something that Alex has an awesome video about, which you should definitely watch because uh, it's gonna blow you away what you can do with this. You can use TypeScript IntelliSense to actually dig into native iOS APIs, which is awesome. And I'll show you um, what that looks like right now. So we're gonna grab a reference to the, uh, to the tab view object. So we'll just call it tab view. 
and we can type it to a tab view and set it to args.object. Now, this little tweak that we're doing is only applies to iOS. So we're going to check if you're on iOS and only do this if you are, otherwise your app will crash. And what you get back, uh, every, every native script view has an iOS object off of it. And uh, it depends on the view what that returns. And in this case, it returns a UI tab bar controller. So we're gonna create a tab bar controller reference and we can actually type it. And this is where the uh, platform declarations come into play. We're gonna type it to a UI tab bar, there it is. So that's pretty awesome. And now um, if we set that to tabview.ios. Now we can start um, accessing the native APIs and properties on this uh, native iOS element. Now I have already done a little bit of research on um, this dark bar style, which you can easily find in Apple's documentation. Um, and, but IntelliSense uh, really helps you sort of get exactly at what you're going for really quickly. So we're, we're gonna access this tab bar controller and uh, what we're gonna get at is the tab bar property. Now that is the, uh, the UI itself. And then off of that, what we want is the bar style and there it is, first option. Um, that's what sets the translucency and the color and there's, uh, there's an enum for this actually. And um, we can get right at that in the native API by just typing and we want UI bar style. And there we have our options, black, black opaque, black translucent and default. So we're going to set it to black. Now let's save this and see what happens. Ooh, yeah, look at that. It's really that simple. There are all sorts of cool things you can do uh, by digging into the native APIs on iOS, Android. This is just a simple little example that just adds a little bit of flair to an app, especially if there's a lot of, a lot of imagery. Uh, so I hope you guys like this and I will see you around. All right, there you have it, folks. Thanks for your contribution, Dave. It's good to have you here. And I'm sure everybody else feels the same way. If there's any other iOS specific tutorials you wanna see, let Dave know down in the comments below and hopefully he'll be back to do another tutorial like this one. And please follow this channel to get more tips, tricks, and tutorials about NativeScript, just like this one. We're gonna be doing some Android ones here too, so don't worry, folks. And I'll see you in the next one.